What? You're trapped in a car? Don't worry and stay calm. I got your back. You can try to escape with the help of a headrest. Pull it off and then push one of its pegs into a window. But not any part of the window. Aim for the bottom where it retracts into the door, right where the seal is. Jam it down in there and then pull the headrest toward you. Breathe in that freedom. But next time, remember your keys. Babies respond to reflexology. A gentle massage of their little feet can help them relax and fall asleep more easily. Makes for a good daily routine. Step 1. Warm up the area by gently rubbing your baby's feet. Step 2. Start massaging the area smoothly and see how your baby responds. You're welcome to practice on my feet. No. Okay. Well, it was worth a try. In Denmark, you won't find homeless cats or dogs loafing around and looking for food. Not a single one. If someone sees poor Fluffy or Spot, they call a special service to take it to a shelter. If it's proven that the owner just threw their friend, if I can even call them that, away, the owner will be fined. There are also limits on the number of animals you can have. For example, you can't have more than three Bow Wows because, obviously, you won't be able to pay enough attention to each of them. One photographer earned his million euros very easily. In 2010, he photographed a potato on a black background and sold the image to an acquainted collector. A potato, a million euros. At some point in each of our lives, we have that moment where we think we've been doing something wrong, right? That's where I am, right now. A potato! In South Korea, you don't have to toil away for long hours to make a lot of coin. You just have to be hungry enough to gulp down your dinner, while being watched by millions of eyes. These star eaters can earn up to $10,000 per month by enjoying, or more realistically, cramming down huge portions of different foods, from noodles to burgers and, oh yes, sushi. We have way too many bones in our feet. While those bones helped our ancestors stay happy and alive, by enabling the grabbing and holding onto of tree branches, we urban dwellers are less than satisfied with the performance of these evolutionary holdovers. That plethora of bones risks too many injuries and pain for us. Plus, it's a real money suck to fix them. I recommend ostrich feet. They have far fewer bones and cool ankle joints, which helps protect them from injury, even makes them better marathon runners. Defibrillators bring people back to life. I saw it in the movies. Remember those epic moments? The hero's heart stops. The doctor shouts, Claire! Shocks the daylights out of him. And he's miraculously saved. Hooray! However, that's not how it really works. And in reality, it wouldn't be able to save the hero at all. Womp womp. For a defibrillator to work, the heart needs to have some electrical activity. It's only effective when the heartbeat is irregular and it needs to be returned to its normal rhythm. Check the back part of your shoulders. If no extra fat's hiding there, scientists and doctors have some good news. You're not going to age prematurely. Yay! Well, if there are no other signs of it, like bruises that appear even after a slight bang, dry and thin skin on your hands, or brown spots on your neck and face. In which case, yes, you are aging prematurely. If you have a hard time remembering the things you've just learned, try some push-ups. OMG, put your wife's bra away. The Smarty Pants has developed a formula. If you exercise after studying, your memory gets a boost. Simple? Well, the recommended workout time is four hours. For you couch potatoes out there, yes, four hours of exercising will kill you. At least try to remember that physical activity and good memory go hand in hand. Jump three times to make sure you don't forget about it. Tom Lee was a street cat that was honored with a memorial. And what for? For her way of leaning against steps. She even became a purr star on social media. Tons of people modified her pictures and turned them into memes, in which she was portrayed with glasses and other fun accessories. Guys? I lean on my bed quite nicely, too. Anyone want a picture of that? No? Okay. 
Keeping track of your expenses is a yay, but keeping piles of receipts around your house is a nay because of the clutter and the fact sunlight destroys their ink faster than it kills vampires. If you're making a big cash purchase, take a photo of the receipt. It won't go anywhere unless you fat finger the delete button, and you can easily show that at the store in case of a return. Almost half of wives complain that children create less stress than us. Their beloved husbands. Not possible. But let's hear them out. They say hubbies act like extra kids and most often just have fun instead of helping out. Plus they burp, fart, eat fast food, play games, don't cook, retell the same jokes, egg on the kids, and please stop this avalanche. By the way, thanks writers. I guess the fact that men don't mature until 43 should probably be disclosed in the wedding vows. Your brain believes you're at ease when eating. That's also why you make your stomach suffer when you're nervous. That ease and relaxation may cause some extra pounds to take up residency around your waistline. But it wouldn't be me if I didn't have a plan to share for dealing with it. Because I'm a giver. Try chewing gum. This way you can trick your brain into a relaxed state and evict those waistline squatters. Angry people are a nightmare. If you feel a storm coming, put some mirrors behind you and all around the place too. They won't scare away those angry birds, unless they're also vampires, but at least they will have to see themselves during the argument, and it's never a pleasant view, I must say. Humans don't like watching themselves being angry. This little trick will help constrain their rage and create some safe space for reasonable communication. Eye floaters, to use the technical term, are one of our body's most mysterious puzzles that we're going to crack. And we did. Now we know that they're neither scary nor harmful. In fact, they have nothing to do at all with your visual acuity. They're just bits of debris in our peepers. They pop up when we look at something white or very bright, though they do tend to become more common as we age. So you can consider it a sign of growing wisdom the more often you see them. Cracking your joints will cause arthritis, and you ought to stop doing it. Have you also heard this spooky urban legend? Well, it's just blah, blah, blah. The cracking sound is nothing but the release of air that builds up in the joint like a bubble popping. There's not a single harmful thing about it, unless, of course, you annoy people with your excessive joint cracking. So, you want to get rid of those extra pounds hanging around your thighs. Then why did I just push you in the pool, you ask? I was just reminding you of the fact that different sports are meant for different parts of your body. Let's clear this whole thing up. Here's walking. If you take up this activity, your legs will lose fat very fast. It'll also lean up your body overall and give you a well-defined booty. Your shoulders will also lose fat, but they will not get bigger or wider. Running is cool if you're envious of the legs and thighs of runners, but your upper body will get very little development, if any at all. Choose wisely. By the way, there is also yoga which is good for proportionally banishing extra pounds. Once you've invested some time in those hard yoga poses, you'll see a lean, long, beautiful reflection in the mirror. There is a remote cabin deep in a U.S. forest. Natives call it forbidden ground, a place to be avoided. It's believed that there is some kind of a spherical force field there. It tricks people into experiencing reality in a different way. It's almost impossible to walk there. You can't help but want to hold onto the walls to prevent yourself from falling right off the planet. A peculiar broom there never falls. No matter where you put it in the cabin, it always stands upright. Though maybe the broom should see a doctor about that. Even balls roll up completely flat surfaces there. Many a tourist has tried to find the trickery using special devices to measure tilts and angles, but the owners just keep grinning, as nothing has helped them discern the magic yet. Okay, skeptics, tell us, what do you think?